Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michael, and today we are continuing our adventures as the Lusian Star Empire. So, um, let's start the game now. All right. So last time we have uh, we have sent the f the, um, our fleet to eliminate the Khan, and it looks like we have already uh, we've already done this. Oh wait, a hostile fleet just popped up. Popped up. Okay, we should handle this. All right, let's see it's reinforcements, high piracy risk, um, low stability. Yes, I'm aware of this, and we are still in breach of the galactic law. You, um, well, let's see resolutions. Um, can you repeal the Military Readiness Readiness Act? Okay, the resolution cannot cannot be proposed. All right, I guess. Wait, is it already in the queue? No, it is not. All right. Oh, the Great Khan. Uh, this is the Great Ka Khan uh, Vrupim Ver the Rotarok of the Kazam Horde. My defeat at the hands of the Ozirians the Empire was not a minor setback. Nothing more. The Ozirians are brave for us and worthy opponents, but they too will fall before us. You wish. You're too weak. Uh, okay, so actually, I think maybe we need some... Uh, we will need some assistance over here. Yeah, okay, the Grand Big 30 Fleet is already going in, I think. Okay, now they are just standing here. So, um, I'm going to allow the Forfi to uh, go home, and yet you're going to stay uh, in this region for a while. Uh, so, um, I'm going to send the second fleet over here, and the third one will jump to this system. Yes, and they, they are all going to attack together. Um, by the way, I think we have just recently discovered the curators. Um, yeah, hold on, let's actually contact them because I really wanted to uh, to interact with them and now we, we actually have the opportunity to do it. Hegemonic, wait now, um, curator order. Okay, so um, let's see. Um, tell us about the mysteries of the universe. Um, what else do you have to offer? I have questions regarding the past. Oh, we can actually... Yeah, I was right. We can uh, earn some information about the foreign empires. A lot of different stuff, actually. Okay, but our opinion is our relations are still too low. So let's maybe... Let's purchase their... Um, the access to the databank so that they can improve our research. Yes, this will also increase uh, our opinion, their opinion on us. And by the way, you know what? I think I'm going to colonize this um this uh, com this planetary computer over here. Yeah, I really want to do it. Okay, our habit habitability may be kind of low on this planet, but I think. But we have some uh, star we have a star base building, I believe. Hold on. Which is able to increase our habitability in the system, uh, in a system in which this building is like built. Yes, I hope that that made sense. That made sense. Yeah, look at this: the atmospheric manipulator. Through careful manipulation of planetary weather patterns, uh, plants in this system can be made more habitable, and this will increase our habitability by fifteen percent. I think this should be enough. I hope at least. So yeah, I'm going to do that now. Attacking enemy assets. Uh, hold on, and this actually, this pen could be useful for us to increase our research even even more. Look at this modifier, planetary computer. It increases our research uh, from jobs in all of the categories by one hundred percent. Yeah, that's really a lot. So, let's colonize this planet, this uh, planetary computer. All right, and I think we're about to uh, fight the Khan. Yes, all right, there we go. Okay, the other fleet is over here as well. All right. Come on, are you going to join in? Oh, yes, you are. You are joining in, all right, fantastic. Okay, there we go, the, the second fleet is attacking the starbase. Look at this like weird ring of the 
uh, of made of transport ships they like they are circling this star base it looks looks kind of cool yeah um, okay how are our fleets doing oh no you have lost some ships over here yeah oh my god we're going to we will need to reinforce this bit later i guess okay only two ships remaining i, I think yes And there it is, the Khan Dread, the Dreadnought. The death of the Great Khan, finally. The Great Khan is dead after her mother met with defeat a second time the drum system. The Great Khan made no attempt to escape her flagship and was destroyed. And her reign is now over. So now, hold on, let's see how many ships did we lose. Two destroyers and... Oh, actually, no, we haven't really lost that much. Okay, we already know that. Great Khan's throne recovered. After sifting uh, through the wreckage of the Great Khan's flagship, our forces found a large bloodstained chair floating in space. We are recently certain that this piece of furniture is, in fact, the Great Khan's throne. The relic has been placed inside a secure vault. Oh, so we get yet another relic. And let's see this relic. I'm really curious. Um, society management. Relics. And there it is, the Khan's throne. It decreases our claim influence cost. Okay, oh, that's really useful actually. Alright. Code sequence. Oh, what's that? Um, we have made a breakthrough in the study of the enigmatic pattern. The pattern is part of an advanced information energy trans transmission sequence sent from an unknown location. The code sequence is capable of infecting and possessing logical structures like vessels. The energy intensity of the code sequence leads to the revelation that the blackout on ISS Utak was not the result of the vessel being hit by the energy flash of the ship simply could not handle the immense complexity of the information, leading to a full blackout. Um, Genematic pattern scans like the closed molecular mod like the closed modular are also independently powered and are equipped with ex experimental information present Special units. project complete. Um I don't know what's what is the what's uh, next after this? Looks like they have just have the stainless over here and then uh, it doesn't finish. All right, I guess. But we be we have just begun the reality code event chain. All right, that should be interesting. I don't know what it is, and we have secured the Zulkor Zulkor swarm. All right, yet another specimen. There we go. Um, okay, by the way, what is going on in this system? I just noticed it. What's... What is hiding in here? Look at, like, look at all of those resources that are being produced over here. Wait, what is that? Look at this thing, it's huge! What the hell? Um, what is that? Fan and Star Traveler, the mega, this mega stretch is owned by an, by an unidentified empire. What the hell? A fan and dimensional mirror? Okay, I think I know what's going on over here. I think it's this like fan and corporation. It's like it's a faction that's uh, added by the that got added by the ancient cache of technologies. Yes, it's it's like my first time actually seeing this thing. Look at that! Look at this! Look at this mega structure, it's huge. It's like surrounds a star, but it looks like it could be an actual ship. Yeah, this is so crazy. Their plants are all like covered in some weird shields of some kind. All right, that is so cool. I don't know if we're going to be dealing with them soon. Uh, I guess we will have to find out about this in the future, but I doubt it really. Against last, the Kazam Horde has managed to weather the turmoil that followed in the wake of the death of the Great Khan. For now, this reborn Kazam Khan seems more concerned with the consolidation of the territory it already controls than making new conquests. I mean, their territory is not really that large, like it's just two systems, so like, chill, I guess. Um, we have unlocked the colossal movement systems. Did we choose anything useful? No, we haven't. 
Oh, what is that? Celestial body Wep weaponization. Okay, now build attack moves, but I think I disab disabled this actually. But still, let's get the technology. It also increased our mega starship build speed. Yeah, I disabled the, like all of these like attack moves and planets because I thought it was just way too ridiculous and too OP. Yeah, maybe I should enable them the next time I make a series like this. We'll see about that, I guess. And we have finally upgraded the, the Even Horizon Office facility. With further upgrades to the facility, we have unlocked new capabilities and knowledge of the micro wormhole stabilization process. Good. Okay, so um, let's send, let's build a yet another uh, construction ship. And once it's finished, we're going to activate the EHOF again. Okay, by that uh, sound, I, we can now assume that the. Yes, we can now activate the EHOF. Let's go for cohesive stars. Alright, um, yeah, look at that, it's spinning. It's making a yet another wormhole for us. This is a really cool mega station, not gonna lie. I really like the idea of it as a whole. Yeah. Oh my god, but it really lags a lot. Maybe we should exit this system. Yeah, let's get out of here. Alright. So we should receive a travel report soon. Yeah, look at that graph. Three stars over here. Okay. Um. There we go. And maybe we should send actually a yet another science ship this time so that we can... Because we have just started this like weird adventure and I'm just eventually about the reality code and I'm assuming by that and I think that means we're going to, we can possibly get some archaeological sites from this like Receiving event chain yes what who is that we will get 170 credits and they will get 160 oh get out I don't care about diplomacy we um okay there we go have you surveyed this system? Yes, you did. So you're going now over here, and since now we have this construction ships over here, maybe we can use it, and we're going to claim this system. Yes. Oh, and by the way, we still have this abyss planet over here. Communications. Let's turn it into a mining world. Let's get back to this planet. Okay, I, I turned it into a mining world because this abyss mine produces a lot of minerals. And we can also upgrade it again, so let's do that, and since we're go mostly going to focus on mineral production on this planet, yes, you can never have enough minerals, let's build the crystal synthesizer, yes, and we can choose a tradition, monumentality, each planetary wonder produces plus 5 unity, what are those planetary wonders, oh, oh yeah, I think these are some of these like, weird buildings, like for example this uh, floating fortress that we've built on Alemany 3, yeah. So let's go for the architecture parland, something like that. I don't know what it means, but whatever. Um, Alright, let's close this window now. Alright, we can now we have research celestial body, the celestial body weaponization technology. Alright, oh look at that, we can unlock escorts. Fantastic! Yeah, I thought I think this type, this design is actually from the Zen for Fallen Empires. I think they should be a lot better than the design designs we received from the um, ancient Cache of Technologies. Yes, um, can I activate the Eve of it yet again. Okay, let's see what we actually get this time. So I was supposed to send a yet another science ship. Yes. Okay, and then we're going to assign a yet another leader. Okay, so I have just received uh, a travel report. Let's say yet another trinary system, look at that. We have two, three stars over here, okay, fantastic. So you can also, wait, is it? Okay, we still need to survey this system, okay. There we go. Yeah, I really like this mega, mega stash day, even Horizon facility. It's, it's really cool because it also because it allows you to expand even though the galaxy is completely th completely taken. Yeah, and I like too much that it's actually like these systems are some 
are actually like from some kind of a, an extra galactic cluster and I think that's really cool. Yeah. Okay, we're investigating an anomaly right now. Right, fantastic. I'm actually curious, is there a, a way to connect the systems from Dihov to your uh, territory? Yeah, I hope that's possible. Yeah. I would really like to do this in the future, not gonna lie, because sending in more and more ships from the, from the Ehof is kind of like annoying. Technology right. secured. And we have unlocked a new ship type, escorts. So now let's... Um, let's unlock the... Okay, let's increase our escort full points. Extra solar probe. Lati reports the, reports the su successful recovery of the object. On examination, it appears to be a weather primitive craft designed for unmanned travel between stars. In all likelihood, it was launched millennia ago and traveled through multiple systems at sub eight speed, and it was caught in Mandogenella A's uh, gravity. A plague, a plague in mod is mounted on the craft. Craft school depicting old geometric shapes, a scheme of an ide unidentified star system, and a pictogram of two nude members of a species unknown to us. Why any civilization would see fit to, do, to disseminate such information throughout the universe is unclear. What a bunch of degenerates. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, so there's that, I guess. We're now, and we are continuing the survey of this system. Okay, we have surveyed the Mano Ganella system. Oh, it looks like... Oh, look at that. The reality code toxic world. We have received a transmission of the enigmatic pattern code sequence. The enigmatic pattern scanners may be able to locate the source based on the fact that the transmission was only broadcast for a short amount of time that hasn't been broadcast since. It may take some time to locate the source. Alright. Window of opportunity. What is that? What's going on? Um, after observing Rubicon 4 for a while, our scientists have formulated a plan to navigate the dense debris fields and access the hidden ship. What hidden ship? What are you talking about? I didn't see anything. Okay, I'm kidding. This will be risky, but the but preliminary reports suggest that the that highly advanced technology is hidden here. Are you sure? Um, okay, we need a we need a scientist. Uh, oh, there is actually one over here. Okay, let's research this special project. All right. Um, okay, what what is that? The World Mender. Who are you? Scientist come come aboard the BT the Arvel Kof reports that his team has successfully navigated the dense debris fields in the Rubicon system and board the inner ship concealed in the midst of it. Said ship is impressively old with estimates ranging from thousands to hundreds of of thousands of years. Most equipment and data cores aboard have been lost to age and debris impacts. However, what we managed to gather is still quite fascinating. It appears that the vessel is a warship terraformer hybrid called a world mender. A warship terraformer hybrid. Originally carrying a massive crew and large number of passengers, it is currently considered under the supervision of an AI unit called a fleet mind. The whole world matter is too damaged to escape, but parts of it might with our help. A powerful new ship will be added to our navy along with an admiral AI. Huh. Reactivate, or we can either react, reactivate the terraforming system. Systems, uh, one of four options will happen. 35% chance of a Gaia world will be produced. Okay, we already have enough Gaia worlds. Um, okay, let's save some of their essential some of the essential ship modules okay so apparently this this is the powerful ship you've been talking about we really, 3.5k military power does it have like oh it has a model okay it kind of looks really nice i'm gonna lie yeah look at that um and okay what's going on over here reality code toxic world USS Tack the Unexpected was able to locate the source of the enigmatic pattern. Um, I was able, it was able to determine the location by comparing electromagnetic and, and gravimetric interferences on the surface of the planet and ultimately the deeper layers with the enigmatic pattern code sequence. 
you have to, you have to put the necessary time and resources to the project to get the answers we've been looking for. Okay, so I was right. We do get an archaeological site. Okay, you have finally finished the Alpha Project uh, technology from the physics department. Okay, let's see what can we choose now. Oh, look at that. We can unlock the Matryoshka brain. I mean, yeah, we have already liked like um, choose that shows that accession perk, which gives us the access to all of to this mega structure as well. So yeah, let's unlock the Matryoshka brain. I'm not gonna lie, I really want to build this thing. Yes, Alpha Project re report. Okay, so it's basically the same text over and over again. We move closer to our goals. We get some influence from this. Alpha project finality. We are ready to begin the final stage of the Alpha project. We have all the resources, the knowledge, and the will to see this project throughout through. Anomaly found. The time for doubts and concerns are behind us. Um, there is no time to be lost. All Zarian science to be lost. All Zarian science team today. The future is at our door. We know our duty, and we will do it. We fight for our honor as Olazarian, as Olazarian Star Empire, and we fight in the name of Veldenor. After and if we fail this day, we fail in glory, we fail hero's failure. But we shall not fail, no, it is the enemy who will taste failure and defeat. As you know, most of our science teams and our station in space prepare to deep strike. For the future, for Olazarian Star Empire. Okay, we get a technology, alpha class, enigmatic power. What is this option over here? Um, but we should fail anyway, let's just forget about everything. And all of our readers just magically die. They kill themselves, yeah. Obviously we're not going to choose this, but why is this even a thing? Okay, um, what is that? A red planet in the bargain system and until now unseen type of world has been located. Wait, what? Hold on. Technology secured. Um, let me see. Look at that, a red toxic world. What the hell is that? It's like the first time I'm actually seeing this this uh, planet class. Okay, so we have built a starbase in this system, so let's now start excavating this archaeological site about the enigmatic pattern. And let's build all of the stations in this system uh, once we're doing this in the meantime. Yes. Okay, there we go. I'm really curious about this red toxic world. What is it? What secrets does this planet hide from us? A unique type of toxic planet entirely poisoned with red toxic particles which turns the atmosphere red. Oh, Alright. And we choose a new tradition again. Here we are gaining a lot of unity right now, so that's why we are able to do this so quickly. Uh, so... Let's go for Brutalism, that's our only choice, yes. Okay, let's have a look at the Curators again. Can we increase our opinion? Um, okay, we can learn some more uh, stuff about... Uh, they can tell us about the past, but this will uh, hurt our relations with them. This topic is considered sensitive, alright. What is the the steroid power? What is that? Enigmatic powers. Okay, mysteries of the universe. What else? Questions regarding the past. What are those enigmatic powers? It's refreshing to see more empires taking an interest in this field of study. Uh, what is it really? Okay, that's sort of text. If the records provided by the ancient empire of Matrox is false were to be to be believed, they would be the one who first discovered the enigmatic part where as a result of stellar power reverting to its base definition. Think of stellar white power as a puzzle piece perfectly aligned to form an image and then the pieces were scattered making the box empty. Yeah, let's uh, find, let's let them tell us about stellar white power. Little recordings survive from the past that details anything regarding steroids will try to provide what we know of them. The fallen empires know about the power. They know about its basic, yes, and any, any empires whose roots date back to the old times will have basic understanding of Stellarite. According to our archives, Stellarite was once a primary source of power in the ancient times, but fell out of use with uncommon circumstances that made them ineffective. 
Judging by the fact that their deadlines were hand in hand with the disappearance of the Omegans, who are the Omegans? We believe that the pirates simply be become exhausted without the Omegans trying to power them. Even if Stride becomes a viable power source again, we do not believe the current generation of Fallen Empire will dub them, their economy are simply not built to support such powers, nor would they have the necessary specialists to maintain them. Mm -hmm. So this hasn't really gave us anything, but whatever. And still interesting, we found out about this like weird Stellarite power source, and there are also some weird Omega Omegans, they were like a really ancient civilization apparently. Yeah, they exist a long time ago and apparently and I think they are now extinct. Okay. I don't know what we can do with this information, but at least we get we got to know uh, more about secure. this galaxy this galaxy's ancient history. That's also nice, okay. Oh we can unlock the defense outposts. Could you give us some like battle cruisers or something else? Or maybe a fallen titan perhaps? That would be more useful. Okay, and you know what? Since we have unlocked the Matryoshka brain, let's build it now. Yeah, there's no time to waste. Um, uh, okay, I think it's at the bottom. Oh, there it is. Harvest is a star's energy to power colossal computers producing uh, research. Um, Alright, let's see. Where should we build this? Um, I don't know, let's build it over here, it's like the closest system to our construction, to this construction ship. Okay, let's build it around this star. We have unlocked the HRAEMC, -A, -A, -E a mega structure of some kind, okay. Um, let's maybe research some of these technologies because we can get back to all of those anytime we wish. So let's increase our archaeology skill. Yes, and let's have a look at this yet another mega structure, the the H R E or something. Okay, exploits a black hole for energy, physics research, and dark matter, and reduces consumer goods upkeep by five percent. Okay, let's build it as well. Yeah, I never actually made this mega structure in, in any of my um, playthroughs. Yes. Um, we need a black hole. You're going to jump over here. Technology secured. All right, and then you're going to build this mega structure over here. There we go. All right, and I believe you have started to excavate the reality code archaeological site. Toxic excavation, chapter one. To protect the dig site from the excavation, Technology for the excavation secured. from the hazardous atmosphere, a small isolated dome made out of corrosion and heat resistant material was built around the location of the dig site. The equipment was installed and is ready for deployment due to the location of the source being only a few dozens of kilom kilometers under the surface. A conventional excavator can be used to drill a tunnel to its location. After the hole has been drilled, a specialized man manned research and tool unit will be sent down to the ho down the hole to investigate the source the excavation can now begin fantastic let's see this enigmatic what's uh, what's going on with this enigmatic pattern thingy look at this Wenkward gardens uh, this increases the culture workers output and researcher output as well um and by the way what is that the in accordance with a directive from the Aldon caretakers, industrialization of this botanical world has been drastically curtailed. Who are they? Wait, so I think that is the reason why this planet has uh, has this weird like stations or something or buildings. Yeah, oh, those are drones. Yeah, so that may be the reason why the these uh, things are flying over here. Um. Okay, so this decreases the artisan output, miner, aesthetic resource output, and gas refiner's output. But th this increases the research and culture workers' output, so I think it's a logical choice to... It's a logical decision to build some laboratories on this planet. So I'm going to build one, two enigmatic labs over here. Matryoshka brain construction. Okay, so that was really quick, not gonna lie, okay. So now let's 
um, start the first stage of building this mega structure. Let's build the Matryoshka brain slower capacitors. Yes. Okay, and we can activate the Ehof. So let's do that now. Cohesive stars. There we go. I think maybe you should send a yet another science ship in this area because look at look at that. This one is busy with the archaeological site, and this one is still struggling with the anomaly. We only have thirty three percent progress on this planet. Wait, what is that? The micro wormhole. Okay, so that's how this entire thing well this thing works. Yeah, look at that. This, the construction ships has been trans successfully transported to the system. We have the travel report. Okay, nothing. Nothing. Spe there's nothing special about this system, really. Um, reality code, toxic excavation, chapter two. The excavation has finished its work. The hole has been drilled and has a depth of about 43 kilometers. The source of the enigmatic pattern may be more than one kilometer deeper, but because the exact size of the source could not be determined, precautions have been taken. When the manned unit has reached the end of the tunnel, it will use its own tools to reach the source. The unit can now be launched. Uh, the base on surface scans. Okay. Technology secured. I'm going to leave this for you to read if you if you wish. Um, based on surface scans, the surface is composed of a material of unknown composition. Thermal scans have the astonishing property of the object. Its thermal temperature is almost absolute zero in the order, in the orders of Zepto Kelvin. What is this unit? <laughs> okay. Colder than black holes at such low temperature, the state of an object can almost be seen as frozen in time. Scanners cannot penetrate the surface. Uh, okay, curious, we are continuing this archaeological site. Oh my god, what is that? Okay, so that was surprisingly quick. Um, reality code toxic excavation after... Oh my god, that is a lot. After many different attempts to find a way into the object, the crew used a combination of gravitational waste at a, at a frequency and amplitude that mimics the enigmatic pattern. The object reacted. Um, an interest manifested. The crew entered and found something inside that can only be described as a mechanism of incredible complexity. After an intense study of the system, um, it is not the source of the enigmatic pattern but serves as an amplifier and repeater of it. The sequence appears to get trans with via, via gravi gravi electromagnetic waste to the edge of the slow system where it flew. An unknown mechanism enters some form of faster than light travel. It may be possible that the alien object which is located at the end at the edge of the solar system, the primordial pillar might have something to do with it. Okay, so at least we have finished this archaeological site, I guess. Reality code sentient metal after the return of the crew. Okay, I, I'm sorry but I'm not going to read that this is too much. But we apparently discovered a a yet another special resource, the, the Sentient Metal. We gain some research options, Sentient Metal Tier 1. Okay. Peace deal, whatever. So, you know what, let's just survey this system instead. Improve Neutronium Armor. Finally, we get a yet another ship design, Battle Cruisers. Fantastic. Okay. So let's go for battle cruises first, and we have unlocked the dim dimensional harvester. Let's maybe okay. What we have the alpha enigmatic reactor. Why is it a dangerous technology? Researching this technology may ag agitate the foreign empires, as we are basically going to out tech them. <laughs> okay, let's piss off the foreign empires. Hell yeah! And by the way, let's have a look at our special projects uh, for a second. Uh, situation lock. Do we have any special project left from the Zenith of Foreign Empires? Oh, we do actually. The technological ascendance. Um, okay, uh, we don't really need that much time to finish this. Okay, what are we researching? From the Alpha Enigmatic Reactor. Okay, okay, we can wait a little bit more to uh, piss off the Foreign Empires. So let's go for technological ascendance. 
let's uh, let's also um, let's also investigate this particular society will send us there's nothing going on in the society uh, department anyways like there there are no interesting technologies so and we have unlocked battle cruisers fantastic paradox torpedoes what is that um, they, are, they are protected with hard light armor and contain powerful dark energy to explode upon impact, making it superior to older torpedoes. Alright. Okay, I guess let's, let's go for this option. Okay. H-R-A-E-M-C -E construction. This technological marvel will siphon the energy straight out of Polandus Mo and it will also prove to be a wonderful research center to closely study the black hole. Okay, let's see now. Oh, this also requires alloys for the upkeep. Okay, I guess. So yeah, let's build this and I think it's a good idea to actually get some more alloys. Yeah. Um, we have a lot of strategic resources to sell. So let's offer them a trade deal. Okay, I think this should be enough. 73,303 uh, alloys. Yes, uh, that should be, this should be enough for us, so let's confirm this, confirm this trade deal. Alright, we can activate the Ehof now. Yes, the science ship has been built, a yet another one. So, um, a yet another leader, again, sapient AI assistant, so... Um, okay, let's... Oh, you have the same name, I think. Yeah. That's a, that's a coincidence, yeah. Let's activate this thing again. Cohesive stars. Special project complete. Alright, technological ascendance achieved. Our technological ascendance unlocks new possibilities of computing to matter transformation. Our scientists further indicate that perhaps rare strategic resources can be synthesized, which has a wide implication to our current economic models economic model technology secured All right I guess oh we get a technology research speed plus 10 percent that's really nice okay we don't really get anything new so we are now currently researching the alpha enigmatic reactor oh the fallen empires are about to be really mad at us right now yeah <laughs> by the way let's see the victory um, the victory uh, screen so you are still at the fifth place. We still have no idea who's the second. So that's who's at the second place. That's really strange. They still haven't. Uh, I'm assuming this empire, this foreign empire over here, is xenophobic because like they are really isolationists, and I don't think they have really contacted any anyone really. Or actually, no, I think I was wrong. They may be actually um, materialists. Look at their names. The font of knowledge. Yeah, oh, and we have a travel report. I forgot about that. Special project complete. Okay, there we go. Um, is there anything special about this system? No, not really. Um, societal ascendance completed. Uh, our announcement to transform our society was met with great enthusiasm by the populace. The state has once again proven its commitment to its citizens by investing in several structures for the betterment of all. Um, Alright, now oh, we gained a lot of unity from this. Ascension complete, finally. The ascension of the Olesian Star Empire can no longer be denied. This is the beginning of a new era. Our era. However, with great power comes great responsibility. A galactic ascendancy must stand for something, and having reached the zenith of civilization, we should commit ourselves to a cause with total fanatism. Fanatism. Only then would we be remembered in history archive, archive for eons to come. I disagree with this. No. Uh, let's keep the values that led us to greatness. Yeah, we want to be different. We don't want to be just like all of the other fallen empires. I mean, that's the reason why they that, why they fail, perhaps. Yeah. That's what you call like think thinking outside of the box. So, yeah. Um, okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, this increase our diplomatic weight. Really nice. A tradition again. Oh my god. 
the main data bank has been built all right good we are getting here fantastic so we can now use all of the alloys that we just bought to uh, build even more to upgrade all these two mega structures the matryoshka brain and the hri e whatever that that name is really strange not gonna lie um technology secure. okay let's now build the central processor oh my god look at this look at all those rings surrounding the star now yeah um unusual tectonics what the iss attack uh, found in errors uh, to be were not buildings but surpassed regular mineral outcroppings Okay, we have colonized the com the planetary computer. Fantastic, all right. We have some crime going on over here. Okay, we have some districts. Twenty, We can build 24 districts on this planet. That's really nice. Um, we can... Okay, we have some... We can produce some alloy, alloy and consumer goods over here. That's really nice. But I think we're mostly going to focus on research on this planet. I don't know. Whatever we will see. Rogue Planet White AI. Following the Technology conclusion of the initial secure. colonization phase, a cursory analysis of Weir Prime's colossal data banks and network systems has revealed have revealed a troubling fact about the planetary community complex as a whole. Indeed, the vast majority of the ancient planetary computer is seemingly inhabited by a rogue AI of unknown origin, which has been using the entire planet as its processing core for the past millennia. It is also likely to be behind the hostile defensive station formerly orbiting the planet. Presumably established as a mean of warding of intruders. Um, regardless of its intents, the superintelligence AI is evidently not very keen on letting us occupy its processor and is now actively fighting our colonists by shutting down parts of the planetary community complex. A planet white rogue AI. Or also decreased our maximum amount of districts on this planet. However, we can actually remove these blockers, so that's really nice. So, the, cor the corrupt code. We also have some rogue precursor arrays. Technology secure. Okay, so let's get, uh, let's just clear all of those blockers first, and after that, we will start to develop this planet. Mm, and finally, we have acquired the alpha enigmatic reactor. Fantastic. Okay. Mm. Oh, what is that? A bionic interface combat computer. A unique combat computer that forms a bionic link between organic synthetic and delphic networks. It is imperv impervious to all intrusion attempts and poses unviral, unrivaled combat algorithms. Okay. That sounds actually really cool, not gonna, gonna lie. Yeah, a bionic interface. Alright, let's acquire this technology. Okay, finally we are done with this, uh, we have finally finished researching this anomaly about the red toxic world, so let's see what's going on over here. Through direct investigation of Bardic and Sea's atmosphere we have discovered that the plant is in fact a toxic world. The core of the plant, or to be more specific its atmosphere, gets created by immensely toxic particles composed of an unknown substance. Based on the results of the chemical analysis of the particles, they are composed of most they are composed mostly of copper, carbon, compounds, phosphorus, sulfur, uh, self, sulfur, something like that, uh, cobalt, and even act actinides, thus making the toxin radioactive. Okay. In addition to its radioactivity, it's also very corrosive. Um, even in inorganic metals are getting corroded to a certain degree. Technology Besides the secure. fact that it is terribly little to any organic life form, it is also extremely dense and opaque, making it, it, it impossible to see through it. Anomaly um, found. Okay. How terrifying yet fascinating. Oh, we get a special project about the this planet's surface. Okay, what is that? Stellarite. What? Stellarite. We have an interesting situation. Apparently some of our scientists claim to have discovered a new type of power source after spending a period of time scanning the energy signature with our advanced enigmatic sensors. These scientists claim that the power of stars can be turned to a power source that is more advanced than even dark matter. 
Okay, so remember when we contact the curators and they told us about this like Stellarite power source? I think we can actually use it now. We cannot yet verify the truth of this claim and as this seems to be related to solar power which we have known ever even before empires are capable of space travel. Okay, let's... Um, project level candidate. We must select one of our scientists to lead the over overall project. This is an area we are not familiar with, but there may, may be many risks, risks involved. So it is best that the selected candidate have some respectable res resume. Uh, some of our leaders object that it may be unwise to risk valuable scientists. Um, hold on, let's see our leaders first. Uh, Estanira, she is... where is she? Okay, there she is. She's at level 3. Or Darmula at level 5. Okay, so she may be a better choice actually. Or uh, Jafab. Where is. Okay, he's level 6. So let's maybe choose him. Alright, and I think we need to replace. We need to hire a new uh, science scientist for the society in the society department. Oh, actually we don't. Okay. So we get a special project. Um, stellar power. The star becomes available. Okay. We don't require any like research uh, resources. Uh, research related resources. So we can just finish this without uh, delaying uh, our technological progress. Oh, what's that? Okay, so it's like the upgraded version of crystal synthesizer, the crystal diviner and we can produce even more minerals from this building than the crystal synthesizer yes, so let's unlock this thing alright, um, hold on yeah, by the way, we have along, unlocked a lot of buildings recently ok, we have the techno lift um, this increases our researcher output. The Empire State University. Okay, let's build it on our main tech planet in Dana One. Uh, yes, this is like our. Uh, yeah, th this is basically our tech world. Yes, that's what I want to say. So let's build a techno lift and the Empire State University as well. Okay, we are still unlocking the Void Palace. Void Palace. I was just looking for it. Yes, um, okay. Technology secure. And there we go, we have just researched this thing. Diplomatic weight plus 20%, you can unlock the embassy megaplex. This gives us even more envoys. Okay, let's go for this. And yeah, we can upgrade all of our capital buildings. Oh, this costs us a lot of resources, so let's maybe do that on like our main planets. So let's do this on Olizar Prime. Um, okay, let's maybe do it one more time over here. Right, there we go. Reality code shattered world, the location of the source of the enigmatic pattern, the planet Ifhos uh, B1 has been determined. This excavation will prove more challenging than the first one, not only due to source being located deeper than the last one, but because of the dangerous and unstable conditions. Caution is advised. Okay, let's go. And we have built the central processor. It's finished. It's a Gigantic network of sentient computers linked together with a gigantic ne neural net possessing incredible computing power. Another step towards a glorious future. Yes. Also, oh, we're still not fit. We're still not done with this. Oh my God. Okay. And luckily, I think we have some modifiers that decrease our mega structure upkeep. I th I hope so. Um. Matryoshka brain quantum calculators. All right, let's go. Savage hordes touching down. Okay. Oh, what is that? What happened? Rogue AI attacks. Oh my God, are you serious right now? Star system charted. Corruption. Oh, they have a lot of armies. 
Look at that, rogue AI, the kill bots. Oh, this is a really serious. Okay, so we have this transport uh, fleet over here. Vessels upgraded. So I'm going to send by the enemy. So we need to send it to this system as as fast as possible. It looks like the the AI has took over the planet. Yeah. This is really not good. Yes. I'm starting to question that is it actually worth it to colonize this planet? Yeah. I was not expecting like this event, this whole event with the um with the raw KI. Yes. Oh no, and you have a lot of devastation on this planet now. That also sucks. Yeah. Oh well, there's nothing we can do about this. I mean, we are already seeing her armies, but this is going to take a really long time. Yes, 700 days. I mean, on the other hand, I didn't think it's really that bad, so... Yeah, whatever. Critical mission failure, oh no. Terrible news, the pressure to study the new power source has gone awry. One of the scientists growing too desperate with the lack of progress tried to perform the experiment without proper supervision. The secret lab exploded and all teams including the supervisor are reported dead. Oh no, that's really unfortunate. Um, okay, I, I don't think... Let's maybe abandon this project, yeah. And Jafab died, so we know what maybe to honor to honor him. Let's rename one of our planets planets after him. Okay, there we go. Rest in peace. You were a really respected scientist. Um, we have unlocked the embassy complex. And let's now unlock this building. And yes, I was supposed to replace him. Wait. All right, there we go. All right, we have we have researched femtomechanics. mechanics. Um, okay, we have a uh, mention from physics. We have unlocked the living metal factory. That's really wonderful. Oh, look at that! We get some new shields, the dark energy deflectors. Oh, that's really nice. I also get the the enigmatic network inhibitor, a new ship aura. And the enigmatic net network inhibitor, okay. So let's knock the new uh, dark energy deflectors, yes. Are they still better than our... Um, wait. Than our supercharged shields? I think they're actually better. Oh, that's, re that's really nice. Finally, some more advanced components. Okay, so we have claimed the Ifho system, and we have a archaeological site over here that I forgot about. Um, reality code shuttered excavation. So let's investigate this now. All right. Also claim this system. We are still serving this one over here. Right? Yet another difficult anomaly. Oh, actually, wait. We are we're going to finish it. So only two percent left. Uh, we have two percent left on this, yeah. And there we go. We have unlocked the new dark energy deflectors. Fantastic. Uh, so let's see. Um, let's go for the passive negative mass enrichment. This will increase our cause negative mass mass output from research stations. Okay, so we can now get more negative mass from all of these systems. Uh, which were like generated by the Ehof. Yes. And they also just gave them the drum system, this one over here, because it was kind of useless anyways. So yeah, appreciate our generosity and kindness. Reality code, shattered excavation, uh, chapter one. To protect the deck safe from the excavation, for the excavation of from asteroid impacts and earthquake, multiple generators of energy barriers and large leg magnetic fields were installed. Secured. Alright, so basically, basically like, like the same thing ex except it's now in like a different environment. We all just make some uh, like barriers or some stuff that will protect the archaeological site, so whatever. Let's continue the excavation. We now have unlocked the Nanite Warhead Missile Launcher. Fantastic. Um, 
most of it was from this section. Uh, what is that? The Alpharius alignment. Uh, all right. Um, okay, wait. What is that? Space storm Avava arrives. Okay, I was not expecting that. To um, all right. Hold on. Have unlock the advanced highlight materials const constructor. Alpha assembly. Advanced trade. Trades, okay, we already have this. Alright, let's choose this technology over here, the automated dreadnought. Let's now uh, choose the supercon conducting materials. And we we have finally reached the year 2430, and I think it's the right time to end this episode. So if you want to see more of this series, you can uh, click the playlist on the end screen, use, or you can use the link in the description down below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, you can uh, subscribe to my channel and hit, hit the like button, leave a comment if you wish. I would really appreciate uh, all of this. Uh, so yeah, and if you want to see what happens in the uh, next uh, episode, then I'm, then I will see you soon in the next video. So yeah, I hope you have a nice day and bye.